Assalamu alaikum my name is Haris Hakim and I am going to teach you physics A levels 9702 subtopic 1.2 SLO A recall SI base units and B express drive unit as product or quotient of base units let me discuss what are base units and what are physical quantities first the quantities in physics which are measured called physical quantities physical quantities may be classified into base quantities and drive quantities question arises what are base quantities those quantities which are not dependent on other quantities are called base quantities and their corresponding units are called base units uh, let me define you the base units those units which are independent of other units called base units question arises how many base units are in SI system so in SI system international system of units there are seven base units let we have the seven base quantities like length is the base quantity and its uh, unit name is meter and the SI system and its symbol or the symbolic representation of this unit base unit this is meter so first base unit is meter in the same way the second base quantity is mass its SI base unit name is kilogram symbol kg the third base quantity we do have that is time the name of that base quantity means the time that is second its symbolic representation is s in the same way the fourth base quantity that is electric current its base unit or SI base unit is ampere ampere having symbolic representation capital A in the same way the fifth base quantity is thermodynamic temperature and its unit name is Kelvin in the same way its symbolic representation is capital K in the same way if you do talk about the sixth base quantity that is amount of substance the name of that base unit is mole and symbol mol the seventh and last base unit a base quantity that is luminous intensity having the unit si base unit that is candela and the symbolic representation of this is cd now these are the seven base quantities and their corresponding base units now question arises what are drived units what are drived units those units which are derived from base units called drive quantities called drive units okay now question arises how many drive units are there they are not countable likewise base units were only seven these are the seven base units these are countable while if you do talk about the drive quantities or drive units they are not countable okay now question arises what are the drive quantities or the uh, respective drive units let me show you yes likewise area means whatever other than means whatever other than these seven base quantities that are derived quantities and whatever other than seven base units they are called as derived units now we do talk about the first derived quantity like area we all know that area of the rectangle is length into width and we all know that the area of the uh, square is length uh, L square and we know that area of the circle that is pi R square and so many area we can calculate they all, these all area have the symbolic representation as A so its derived unit is meter square let me do have the volume 
so volume having symbolic representation v and it may be the volume of the parallelopoid means length width into height and it may be the for the cube that is length into length into length in the same way derived unit for the volume whatever be the volume means not necessarily all the time we do have the uh, cuboid we do have the cube we may have a cylinder pi r square l so in all these cases meter cube will be the unit and in all cases of area we do have meter square as a unit either it may be the circular area either it may be the rectangular area either it may be q uh, either it may be uh, square area they all are measured in meter square and volume all the type of volume they are being measured in meter cube let me do have the density density having the symbolic representation with the letter rho and it have the formula mass over volume and it have the drive unit as kilogram per meter cube speed we do have the symbol v and its formula is distance traveled in unit time or the length covered in unit time its derived unit is meter per second no matter you do write m s minus 1 or m uh, over s even you can write it m over s or in this way acceleration a acceleration is the rate of change of velocity and having the drive unit as meter per second square ms minus 2 or you may write meter per second square in the same way force force having the formula f is equal to ma and its derived unit is kilogram meter per second square or newton pressure force over area having the base having the derived unit as newton meet, newton per meter square or pascal now question arises how we do convert these all in terms of the base units question arises what are the base units? the seven base units we do have meter kilogram second ampere kelvin mole candela if we do convert these all derived unit in terms of these seven means meter kilogram seconds kelvin mole candela okay these all we will would we are going to represent in terms of these seven base units okay now question arises how we do convert it i'll tell you okay now the first we are going to convert right here likewise force force is a derived quantity why why the force is the derived quantity because it does not being present in the base quantity means in si base units in si base quantities we do have only seven base quantities are only length mass time luminous intensity amount of substance electric current thermodynamic temperature okay but force does not belong to this force does not belongs to this so it means that this is not going to be the base quantity it is derived quantity so here for the force we do have the unit that is newton force having the formula mass multiplied by acceleration acceleration okay now question arises what is the derived unit for the force force having the derived unit as newton force have the derived unit as newton so how we could represent this newton having the symbol capital n as the base unit means in terms of these seven base units okay how we do represent it this newton okay see right here we do write newton right here and in in terms of mass mass have the base unit that is kilogram kilogram mass having the base unit that is kilogram in this way okay and that is symbol kg okay now for acceleration acceleration we already converted the acceleration as meter per second square why because acceleration is rate of change of velocity meter per second square why why the acceleration having meter per second square because 
एक्सेलरेशन इज रेट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ वेलोसिटी मीन्स डेल्टा वी ओवर डेल्टा टी क्वेश्चन आ रहा है वॉट इज वॉट इज द डिराइव यूनिट फॉर द वेलोसिटी सो वेलोसिटी इज लेंथ कवर्ड इन यूनिट टाइम और डिसप्लेसमेंट कवर्ड इन यूनिट टाइम लेंथ ओवर टाइम लेंथ हैविंग द बेस यूनिट मीटर मीटर हैविंग द सिंपल एम एंड टाइम हैविंग द बेस यूनिट एज सेकेंड सो वेलोसिटी हैविंग बेस यूनिट मीटर पर सेकेंड सो चेंज इन वेलोसिटी ऑल्सो हैविंग द बेस यूनिट एज मीटर ओवर सेकेंड ओवर टाइम इंटरवल वी डू हैव टाइम इंटरवल इज अगेन मेजर्ड इन सेकेंड्स सो वी कुड राइट इट मीटर ओवर सेकेंड स्क्वेयर ओके सो एक्सेलरेशन हैविंग द बेस यूनिट एज मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वेयर एंड वेलोसिटी हैविंग द बेस यूनिट एज मीटर पर सेकेंड सो वी कुड राइट दिस एक्सेलरेशन एज मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वेयर एंड मोर सिंपली वी कैन राइट दिस न्यूटन एज किलोग्राम मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वेयर येस we do have the base unit of the force the derived unit of force is newton and the base unit is kilogram meter per second square no matter you do write kilogram meter s minus 2 or kilogram meter per second square we do read now we are going to calculate uh, the base unit of momentum momentum we all know what is momentum momentum is basically the product of mass and velocity momentum having the symbol p and it is basically the product of mass and velocity mass and velocity now we all know that momentum having uh, one of that is derived unit that is uh, one of that is newton second Newton second as derived unit. Newton from force second from the time. So base unit uh, derived unit is Newton second. We can represent this momentum in terms of the base units. See right here how we do convert it. So we can write this momentum as mass. We could represent as kilogram. Why? because we already know that mass having the base unit as kilogram this one and we can write in terms of the velocity we can write in terms of the velocity velocity we have yet calculated uh, the base unit as meter over second why because velocity is displacement covered in unit time or length covered in unit time m over s so we can write instead of this velocity as m over s so the base unit of this momentum is kilogram meter per second or kilogram meter per second in this way we can write okay let me do have try it okay some some drive quantity you do find as directly the base units likewise we have did for the density density we already know that density is mass over volume we all know that mass is measured in mass is measured in kilogram okay because this is the base quantity list and these are the base quantities and these are the base units so mass is measured in kilograms and volume now we have to do for volume instead of this mass we can write this kilogram but this uh, for this volume what we do write volume is basically uh, either length multiplied by weight into height okay any volume not necessarily that you may choose the cuboid okay cuboid is look like this one in this way in this way this way cuboid is just just look like this one okay having this length and having this weight and having this portion this as height so length width into height either you may have cube exactly all these three are being equal that is called cube or either you may have cylinder cylinder yes cylinder might be in this way yes 
having the circular area, having uh, its uh, land side, and having a circular area pi r square. So its volume will be pi r square l. Any volume you can use. So all they have, all they have the unit that is meter cube. Even you may use this one. Pi is unitless. R square means the kind of length means meter square length by itself meter so meter cube all the time so volume have the base unit meter cube either you may use the volume of the cuboid length is also measured in meter width is also measured in meter height you also measured in meter so volume having the unit meter cube okay so any volume not necessarily uh, that we have taken only the cuboid it is applicable to the volume for each and every case so volume having the base unit that is meter cube so density having the base unit that is kilogram per meter cube in the same way we can calculate for pressure yes calculate it yourself pressure yes pressure what is pressure force over area force over area now question arises what is the base unit for the force first we have calculated the drive unit of the force that is Newton okay but the base unit for the force that is kilogram meter per second square so we are going to replace right here kilogram meter per second square and what about area any kind of area either it is circular area either it is rectangular area either any area we do have area of a square is l square l square means kind of a length length square means length is measured in meter it's a square even if we do talk about rectangular area area having the same unit that is length multiplied by width so length and width both are measured in meter again meter square and even we can measure the area of circle yes circular area is pi r square pi is unitless and we are writing here meter square so any kind of area we do write the base unit as meter square so the pressure having the base unit as kilogram and one power of its meter will be substituted right here and it becomes kilogram per second square and here in denominator meter and we do shift it in the numerator kilogram per second square per meter so this is the unit of pressure well pressure having si derived unit derived unit of pressure derived unit of pressure is basically pascal or let me call it due to this force that is measured in newton and area meter square newton per meter square both you can write it but this is derived unit we can write it as base units kilogram per meter per second square okay that's all for now now try it for impulse this is your homework what is base unit what is base unit of impulse that's